lashing out at Narendra Modi for sidestepping the issue of apologizing for the 2002 Gujarat riots, the Congress said that he is someone who runs away from giving an apology. The Congress said Modi wants to prove to the country that a dictator never apologizes. The statement came after Modi's interview on News 9, where he said that the Congress should first account for their sins before asking him to tender an apology in connection with the 2002 riots. Today, Modi reacted to the same. He said, and I quote, I have said whatever I had to say. I have come out of people's court like gold. Uh, this TV9 network exclusive interview with Narendra Modi has definitely created a flutter after a direct question at him asking if he will apologize for the 2002 Gujarat riots. Narendra Modi uh, did not apologize. He went on to point it and direct it at the Congress stating that if they were willing to apologize for all that they have done, then he would start singing. But uh, of course, uh, Congress seems to have latched on to this particular interview and has gone on to state that Modi has only gone on to prove that he is a dictator who will never apologize. But Narendra Modi, keeping his ground uh, steady there, going ahead and defending himself, went on to state that he has said all that he had to say and also went on to state that he has come out of people's court like gold. Narendra Bhai, you have a straight question. Gujarat ke dangon ko lekar aapke upar iljamaat ka daur chalta raha. Aapne to afsos jata hai, lekin maafi nahi maange. Ye log apology maang rahe hai. Kaun hoi log? Congress ke log. Mere paas to kabhi Congress ke log milne nahi aaye. Nahi mere saazi koi baat ki hai. Lekin press conferences mein, bhaashno mein to yeh puch rahe ki maafi maangna chahiye Modi ji ko. Congress ke log apne paap ka pehle hisab lagaye, phir auro ka hisab maange hai. Well, uh, that was uh, the particular statement by Narendra Modi that has created quite some controversy. Uh, the Congress, making the most of it, has gone on uh, to state that Modi, just like a clear dictator, has not commented about the Gujarat rights, has not apologized for the same. But uh, in the interview, it's clearly seen that uh, Narendra Modi, on being asked about the Gujarat rights, uh, posed very direct questions right back at uh, the interviewer, Mr. Ravi Prakash, stating quite clearly uh, who has asked for an apology. And and when uh, Mr. Ravi Prakash went on to state that it is the Congress, uh, Modi dismisses the same stating that once the Congress apologizes for all their mistakes, then he will too. And the Congress, clearly not impressed by that particular remark, has gone on to state that Modi just will not apologize. We will have to wait and see how exactly uh, the Congress will react to this post Modi statement. He has gone on to state that uh, several times he has answered questions on the same and he has said what he has to say incomplete and has emerged from the people's court like gold and uh, of course uh, besides that this particular interview has created quite a stir uh, it is definitely one of the most uh, direct and open interviews of Narendra Modi he addressed every single issue posed towards him uh, but when we spoke about uh, the Gujarat riots uh, a stony silence uh, from uh, the BJP prime ministerial candidate wherein uh, he refused to apologize for the riots well, uh, once again, uh, taking a look at what Narendra Modi reacted, uh, he went on to state on his silence uh, in the post-riot scenario, and I quote, I was not silent. I answered questions from every top journalist in the country from 2002 to 2007. But I noticed there was no exercise to understand the truth. It was an unknown entity causing conspiracies. So this is what Narendra Modi has uh, gone on to state that uh, quite clearly he has uh, addressed every single question that has been directed at him since 2002 all the way to 2007. He also goes on to state and I quote, but I noticed there was no exercise to understand the truth. It was unknown entity causing conspiracies. This is what Narendra Modi has gone on to state and well even as that interview is doing the rounds and creating quite some controversy. Narendra Modi backing himself up and stating quite clearly that he has never shied away from speaking the truth about what happened in the Gujarat riots, uh, that he has answered every single question uh, that has come his way, but also stating quite clearly that there is no sort of exercise to understand the truth, and that is what he has realized over time. 
But at this time, of course, in this particular interview, a News 9 exclusive interview with Narendra Modi, uh, Modi maintaining a stone cold silence, especially uh, when there were no questions targeted towards him, asking him who was responsible for the riots, asking him anything about the riots, but simply if he is willing to apologize. Modi refused to do so. He refused to comment on the scene uh, and put uh, the ball in the Congress's court, asking them to apologize for every single mistake they have done, and then he would go ahead and sing for them. And well, it's more star power for Narendra Modi. BJP's prime ministerial candidate Narendra Modi will meet Tamil actor Vijay in Coimbatore tonight. Narendra Modi is campaigning in Coimbatore today. Vijay will be having a formal meeting with the politician later in the evening. But it is not clear yet whether they will share the stage together or not. Well, uh, Vijay tweeted, and I quote, Indeed, a privilege to, to be invited to a non-political meeting with Narendra Modi ji. Looking forward to meet him. Well, this comes just days after Modi met Rajnikanth at his residence. And now Vijay going ahead and tweeting that particular uh, quote. And uh, what we, of course, have to keep in mind and probably underline in that particular tweet is the word non-political. And uh, days after Modi met Rajnikanta at uh, his residence, there definitely looks uh, like a lot of star power is coming in the BJP's favor. In the recent months, many celebrities from different film industries have gone ahead and shown their support for Narendra Modi, especially in uh, Andhra. Pavan Kalyan, Mohan Babu and many others are openly supporting and campaigning for BJP's prime ministerial candidate. And now in Tamil Nadu, it looks like Modi is trying to get all the support from Hollywood that he can. After that much publicized meeting with Rajnikanth, the latest is, of course, with Vijay, which will be a meeting that will take place tonight in Coimbatore. Modi, of course, is there to go ahead and address a rally. And he is expected to meet Vijay soon after. No word on whether it will take place, whether they will share the stage or whether it will be a closed door meeting. But uh, what we have to keep in mind is that Vijay, in his tweet, made it very clear that it is a non-political meeting. Of course, we will have to wait and watch to see if Vijay, in some form or the other, endorses the BJP, endorses Narendra Modi. But uh, he did go on to tweet saying that he was indeed privileged to meet Narendra Modi. And well, Prakash Ukeri today launched a scathing attack on media personnel. He stopped the reporters from televising his meeting, which was being held in the court premises in Chikodi. He was holding a meeting with the members of the Bar Association. Prakash Ukeri, who is also the Congress candidate from the same constituency, tried to prevent the cameramen from filming him. He also verbally abused the journals present there. So Prakash Ukeri there, who is of course known for his... Uh, frequent outbreaks was seen this time around venting his anger against a camera person who had uh, arrived in that particular venue to uh, catch him with um, in a meeting with the bar council. But for some reason it seems to have uh, ticked off uh, Prakash Ukeri who was seen verbally abusing a camera person, questioning them and at one point also going on to almost push away the cameras, push away the lens from shooting this particular meeting. Of course, uh, there is no word on exactly why uh, Prakash Ukeri got so defensive, why he uh, decided to go ahead and act in this manner. But it definitely is raising a lot of eyebrows on what exactly this meeting was about that led to Ukeri going ahead and getting so offended by the fact that it was uh, being captured. He tried to stop the cameras from entering, from taking visuals, and was also seen verbally abusing uh, some of the cameramen present in Chikodi. And well, actor Balaya, who is contesting the assembly elections from the Hindupur constituency, filed his nomination today. It was a grand show of strength as thousands of supporters showered flowers and welcomed him. Balakrishna fans took to streets, burst firecrackers and distributed sweets. TDP chief N. Chandrababu Naidu gave the green signal to his brother-in-law at a meeting on Saturday. 
putting to end the suspense over the constituency that stood by his father and TDP founder N.T. Ramarao. But uh, clearly there are a lot of support coming in for Rabalaya. This is uh, a constituency that has stood by the Nandamuri clan uh, and uh, a genius move by uh, the Telugu Desam party there. Uh, we have to keep in mind that uh, uh, Balaya's uh, brother-in-law is Chandrababu Naidu, but there was quite a bit of friction between the two. But it looks like all is well and this particular move by the TDP will definitely pay off for them, will reap uh, rich benefits considering the kind of support, uh, the kind of popularity that Balaya does hold in this particular constituency. We have to keep in mind that the Hindupur constituency is an assembly constituency, hence uh, there was a lot of questions on whether he would be willing to also become the chief minister, whether he has any sort of aspirations of the same. Balaya, however, laughed and dismissed it off, stating quite clearly that he has not thought about it to that extent and if the need be, he wouldn't mind taking up the post. Uh, but going by the kind of support he has garnered, we have to keep in mind, of course, that his previous film, Legend, also went on to do very well, reviving his prospects in Tollywood and that only seems to have helped him in his political journey as well. He is beginning his sojourn in these assembly elections and uh, with his filing of nomination today, it was a mere show of strength for the TDP in Hindupur. Hello? Ricard, yes, can I record? Sir, I'm not going to keep you on the record. Okay.